Now we are going to plot some negative rational numbers on the number line. Let's say we have to plot minus 3 by 6 on the number line. Now here when we have negative numbers we have to understand that negative numbers lie on the left side of 0. So the right side is for positive numbers and the left side is for negative numbers. So we are going to divide this portion into 6 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. They are equal portions measured with the help of a scale and they are exactly divided into equal parts. Now the first part will be minus 1 by 6, second is minus 2 by 6, this is minus 3 by 6, minus 4 by 6, minus 5 by 6 and minus 6 upon 6 and minus 6 upon 6 is nothing but minus 1. So between 0 and minus 1 we are dividing into 6 parts and we find that the third division represents minus 3 by 6. We could have also simplified this value of minus 3 by 6 and written it as minus 1 by 2. In that case, the plotting would have been 0. Then we are going to divide into two portions. This would have become minus 1 upon 2 and this would have become minus 2 upon 2 that is minus 1. So we are going to divide into two portions and the first portion would have given you this equivalent value of minus 3 by 6 that's minus 1 by 2. Now we can also consider some other example. Let's say we want to plot minus 6 by 5 or let's say minus 6 by uh, a bigger number let's say 13. Now in this case we find that again it's a negative number and we have to divide now into 13 equal parts because the denominator is 13. So again Concentrate on the left side of the number line. Right side is positive. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So we have 13 parts. And here the first part is going to be minus 1 upon 13. This is minus 2 by 13, 3 by 13, 4 by 13, 5 by 13. We find that the sixth portion will be minus 6 by 13. So here we have minus 7 by 13, minus 8 by 13. Similarly, 9, 10, 11, 12 and this is going to be minus 13 upon 13 and minus 13 upon 13 is going to give you the value of minus 1. So between 0 and minus 1, we have divided this portion into 13 portions and the sixth part from 0, if you observe, will give you minus 6 by 13. So whether it is positive numbers or negative numbers, we just have to see the denominator, which is the clue and the denominator indicates that these are the number of parts into which we have to divide 0 and the next integer that's minus 1. So once you divide this, it becomes e easy to plot this because the numerator indicates which division has to be marked. So in this case, it was minus 6 by 13. So we've divided into 13 portions and we see the numerator that's 6. So we just count the sixth part from 0. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we have minus 6 by 13. So this is the way to represent all rational numbers on the number line.